happening now. There is a valley-wide manhunt underway for the gunman. Police say shot three customers yesterday at a Peoria smoke shop, killing two of them. Witnesses, Connie, say this man mentioned something about a robbery, but then apparently just started shooting. Mm -hmm. ABC 15's Brian McElhatton live at the Euphoria Emporium in Peoria this morning. And Brian, I understand that you just received some new information about the victims involved in this. That's right. Good morning to you. We just received this new information. There were three, vic uh, three victims inside this store at the time. Two of them died, and we now have the identities of those two people. I want to show you their pictures now. 38-year-old Melinda Bowen and 60-year-old Kenneth Matlock. Two of the victims in here that died. A third person who remains unidentified at this point uh, was enlisted in, in uh, uh, serious condition in the hospital. Uh, police have reason to believe that Mr. Matlock's pickup truck may have been the vehicle that the suspect used to get away. It's a 2009 Silver Dodge Dakota quad cab with an AZ license plate of 502 uh, WKR, 502 WKR. So if you see that truck, a Silver Dodge Dakota quad cab, be on the lookout for the suspect. Uh, I wanted to go back to the beginning now and tell you how this thing happened from the start. It happened yesterday afternoon, uh, but it took we're told 17 minutes for police to arrive here because that's how long it took the store owner to call for help. We're told he ran to neighboring restaurants trying to find help, but because he was in such a panic, uh, the store owners didn't let him in because they thought something was, was strange with this man. But finally, he was able to get inside a Burger King, and that's when he was able to call 911. Again, 17 minutes after the suspect shot three people inside the smoke shop. Now, Peoria police originally treated this as a hostage situation, but had they known the suspect had so much time to escape from the crime scene, they say they would have figured out the suspect was probably on the loose and would have ordered the schools in the nearby area to be locked down. Now, we spoke with a couple of regulars at the smoke shop, and they say it's just sad to see. Take a listen. He, he was a cool guy. There's times he's giving me cigarettes. I didn't get paid for a couple days. Hey, man, you know, can you front me a pack of cigarettes? Yeah, dude, not a problem. He wouldn't even charge me for them. Take them. You know, you're always here. You're a good customer. So it's really, really it's sad to, to see. Know. Now that our community has to worry about some gentleman running around who is obviously highly dangerous. Yeah. So. Now, once, once again, uh, police looking for a, tw uh, a white male in his 20s believed to have gotten away in one of the victim's pickup trucks that is a 2004, I just said 2009, but it's a 2004 Silver Dodge Dakota quad cab with an Arizona license plate of 502. WKR. If you see that, avoid this suspect. He is considered extremely dangerous. You are asked to call police immediately, Kirk. Yeah, scary situation. Uh, someone spots him, obviously, just, just call police. And I saw some activity behind you earlier in the last hour, Brian. What exactly is going on out there this morning? Well, there was some. Uh, uh, there was a gentleman here who was repairing the facade of this uh, building, replacing uh, some glass and a doorway over there. This is the smoke shop. In fact, you can see some paper and some blinds that are up in the window, so you can't see inside. But there was some damage to the front of this, uh, either by uh, bullets or by police entering, and so that had to be repaired. That had to be boarded up so people didn't come in uh, in inside and, and mess around with things. But that has since ceased. The repairs have been made for now. The temporary fixes. Uh, and now the focus is back on this investigation and trying to find the suspect. And one difficult thing here, Kirk, uh, there were no security cameras inside the inside the smoke shop, and the security cameras in the parking lot weren't working. So police do not have a picture of this suspect, but they're hoping they can find him through this pickup truck again, a 2004 Silver Dodge Dakota. Brian McElhatton live for us in Peoria. He's going to be staying out there throughout the morning. We'll check back in with him, and we'll be following this story throughout the day here on ABC 15 and ABC15.com.